to us, you guys must be knowing that like in India, especially we women, all we do is like majority of the women, all we do is think about others first. Like that is something our parents, our neighbors, everyone tell us that we women, what we have to do is think about others first. So today <laughs> I have Mesh with me. So I'll just let her introduce herself first. Hi, thank you Divya. Hi everyone. Thanks. Um, first of all, I really have to thank this girl. She literally like someone like dream come true for me. I used to do this kind of sharing before in my Facebook page, but I just take a break. And yeah, she's here today. Um, myself is Parmeshwari Vanagobal. They call me as a mash. I'm 33 years old. So yeah, today she picked me to share something about what she wants to know. Yeah, so this is the first episode of the podcast and you guys must be thinking like what was the reason I chose her and I'm definitely sure by the end of this episode you will get to know that what was the reason. <laughs> so the topic for today's session is mental health focusing on women. So like what do you want to say on this? Like do you think that we have been taught this that you know we should always think about others first being the women especially? Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> See, uh, plus I'm from very Indian background, so like my parents are Indians, I've been born and brought up in an Indian family, uh, I would say an orthodox Indian families. So I lost my father when I was 17, until then I don't know what is outside world about, it's everything that, whatever I want it be given by dad, whatever, wherever I want to go, it, dad will bring me, uh, it's different to other communities. But then once he passed away, something really hits me harder because I have to do everything by myself. And I went through into depression. I went through into mental health issues. I can't focus on my study. That time I was my, on my high school, okay. which is really hard for me to come out from that pain. And yeah, it, it was literally hard for a girl who lost a father at the age of 17. I was clueless, absolutely clueless. And I went through the mental depression that point of time. And I didn't know that I'm going through mental depression. Okay. All, all I heard was people say, it'll be okay, everything will be fine, this is normal. But no one come and sit next to me and ask me, how does it feel? Fear, right? What, what is inside of you? Um, it's not, they say it's normal. So I take it it's normal it's because normal. everyone says it's normal. Until I'm, I'm 33 now, even now whenever I think about it, I still can feel the pain. So I feel like it's not normal. It's not normal. It's and normal. like how did you get to know that you were suffering from like depression or anxiety? Like oh. did you see a doctor or like you just analyzed it yourself? I did. I did. I feel like going to doctor, going to counselors, it is helpful. I never deny that. Yeah. It is really helpful. But other than that, I feel like you have to discover it by yourself first. You got to sit with it rather than run away from it. Yeah. I give you a small example. When I had my breakup, you know, right? We had to share a lot of songs. The songs that we like, we share yeah. to our partner. Even whenever I got the song on my playlist, I straight away skip it after I had my breakup. Okay. Then one day this thing hits me out. I was like, how long am I going to run away from this? I'm going to listen to this song. So I, whenever I start to listen to that song at the first stage, I cry during, you know, when I'm dry, I cry, I scream. But day by day, month by month, year by year, no more screaming. screaming. I No more crying out loud. I just got tears. So that's the day I realized that we all can't run away from mental exactly. health. Exactly. And you know like when people get to know that I'm studying psychology, mm -hmm. so they are like, what do you will what will you suggest us? Like how to move on? Whenever we see their memories or their yeah. pictures, you know, Snapchat memories and stuff. Yeah. We always get to like remember them. And you know, like I always say this, if you try to run, one day the volcano will erupt. Exactly. So you know just go through it. Yeah, it will be hard, so. but like when you'll go through it, so like it will take time, but one day you will be like, okay. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. It took 
it took years actually it's not exactly. one day or two one day, day. Or two days. and i don't think so any doctor or any counselor helped me out actually i would say i helped myself I helped you, yes. and i took it i i want to be alone people say at this point of time if you're being alone you will go through mental depression you will go through stress you can't uh, you know you committing suicide all these things might be happen i feel like if you never speak up you never sit with it it will piling up one day you end your life exactly unless you sit with it okay this is what and you want to cry cry you want to scream scream that's absolutely fine but you will finish it up with you rather than you end your life i would say my life is more precious than the pain i'm going through exactly and you know we can't deny that fact that the early days those are really tough you know mm-hmm. those days if you like you actually want to die it's like you are like no you know all the people in this world are not that strong that you know we can do this they exactly. are like no we can't go through this it is very hard and like what do you suggest like what can people do because not about relationship or breakup there are many steps in life mm-hmm. people don't get the things they want or like they have planned something on the basis of their marks or yeah. like their degree yeah. and something gets spoiled and they are like no we just want to give up on life okay i think i got a great things to tell you now <laughs> so 6 years ago when i touched down in this country in this land melbourne by myself yeah i can i can't put it in into a words to describe how much i went through so especially after 4 years ago i had my breakup it took it's really a long period for me to recover from that at that point of time i met my mind so i'm going to die i can't feel this pain because this is too much for me but i hold on i'm just like no it's okay it's okay it will be fine okay fine 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 so this year when finally i watch my tr i'm just like i share to my sister imagine 4 years ago when i had when i had this break up i end my life i wouldn't feel this good thing now Yeah. I wouldn't have a chance to meet you and talk about this. This right. So I feel like the hardest times when it hits you, take it. Face it. And there is next day. Go through it. And you don't know what's waiting for you outside there. Maybe it's something precious that I hold on to this. That's why I can feel the joyness today. And I can I can have all this thing because I say I'll be okay one day. If I end my life, I won't have a chance to see all this thing to feel it, you know? Exactly. To share this thing. And you know I tell some things so like I guess two days back I was talking to my friends, you know, like mm-hmm. I am thinking to do this thing with like a friend of mine and they were like like what was the reason you were choosing that? I was like, you know, I tell you the second i entered her house <laughs> you know i could feel that positive aura you know that thing Thank that is detoxing my mind and my thoughts and the people who are listening to this podcast you can't see we are at her meditation room right now but like i'll explain it so like like every place in this house it's so positive like i think you can just see if you are on youtube watching this like i can't even explain and you know this is like when you actually start loving yourself then you can give love to others absolutely 100% i start to love myself i start to accept myself people uh, pointed out that you shouldn't do this you cannot be like this you cannot be like that you don't talk like this i feel like oh probably i'm doing something wrong, wrong. but those who are telling me all those stuff all of a sudden they disappear the only person who was with me was myself Then I start to sit and talk to my sons like what's going on mash you know yeah then I feel like mash you're the only one with you so this is you so I'm the one going to be with me for my rest of life see mother father siblings this is all a moment in our life we're exactly. just going to treasure all this thing while they are with us one day we all will leave this world so I come to a point at the age of 29 I start to accept myself. I love myself than anything. <laughs> Literally anything. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Those who are going to be in my life, they will come. Those who doesn't want to be in my life, the door is open. And there is no revenge, no hatred, nothing. Yeah. It's just as it is. And I'm happy. <laughs> 
and you know like um, what I am learning I'm still on the track of learning I can't say like I know everything you know all the things I don't know I have the potential to learn exactly yeah so that is the thing and like when I go back and see the girls in my country there's a lot they need to know like I got the opportunity I I'm blessed that you know I'm here in another country learning new things but so everyone true. doesn't have that opportunity so true but like you know when you are in your boundaries yeah you don't have options left you know you have to follow that track your family is giving you or your husband is giving you yeah. and you even if you will raise your voice where will you go you know that is the exactly. thing exactly so like how can we tell like i like if any girl is watching this video right now so like what can you say for them like if there, if there is anything which is actually ruining their mental health or like their life and they are not agreeing with that i think if you know more you should know what to do it's so like when i visited india yeah. you know my first visit to india i was literally in shock i'm like oh my god this is how the girls lives are they even they still got married when they was just 15 14 yeah. you know I, I literally devastated and it's like what is this and i literally cried out seriously i cried out and i can't control i really it's like what a life these girls are living here i can't thank god that time people say oh you should thank god i'm just like no i can't thank god thank i can't god. thank god by saying this thing right. all i learned was i learned all this thing i'm here today because i learned i find the opportunity actually the opportunity didn't find me i up from my comfort zone i was a passport officer in singapore changi airport so i quit the job when i was 27. okay i'm like when i made up my mind i want to move here in 2016 everybody say i'm stupid you are such a stupid you're an idiot who will lose the job you know quit this kind of good job go to you know you want to start over everything again which is basically true. I don't know what I'm going to exactly. do here. I just moved and today the same people were texting me and say, you made up the right decision. Right decision. Because I believe that this is my only life. I just want to live this life. So for the girls who think if I say this, because you depend on someone. And I always encourage girls be financially independent. independent i know there is amazing guys outside the world they are amazing guys they are really support their partner they really support them uh, in whatever their partner wants to do but be financially independent. independent it is not only secure yourself it will give you a kind of self-respect self you are doing something too you're using your capabilities you're using your potential you know your talent to earn something it can be anything. I know so many homemakers, they, are, they do business. business they right. sell ladoos. I know my friends, they do it. Whenever I ask them, they say, Mesh, I feel happy I'm doing this, which is good. So they say, my husband's always supporting me when I show him that I'm capable of doing something. Those girls who are scared, they say, if I say this, say this. this could harm me. Harm me. But how long you're gonna be keep quiet for how long you think that if i say this if i don't say this i'm a good girl try to tell me Devia, for whom you live this life for who you came to this world when you're born you don't know right exactly so why you have to be good girl for in this journey of your life do you know that tomorrow you're gonna make me again no there is no guarantee that right so why I make this good girl caption always? You know, I just believe there is like one big jump and then every just everything just go on track. Exactly. That is the thing if you just decide no, it's not working, I'm not happy internally and I need to do this. Exactly. And I agree that you know it will really be hard. It's not easy just stepping out of your comfort zone every your comfort life. Exactly. Just moving out suddenly. But you know, once you have done that, you can't go back. No. You can never go back and no. that's the truth. No. And you have to go forward. Exactly. And then I just believe that if you have something in your mind, it just automatically takes place. And you know what? When you're out, the way will be there. Exactly. I told all of my friends. I still remember one of my friends. I don't want to mention her name. Yeah. She used to be a cleaner, Divya. Okay. She used to cleaning a toilet. She baked this cake. And I asked her, did you really bake this cake? She said, yes. 
So I saw what a talent she got. I'm like, exactly. why won't you go and clean the toilet? She said, Mash, you know, my father, before he passed away, he used to have a bakery. So they sold all the bakery and to treatment for his disease, you know. So I told this girl, can you open her Instagram page, post that this? Yeah. We will see what's going to happen. She said, Mash, I'm so scared. I'm so like, no, I go for it, do it. Time. I'll show you her page later. She's doing that as a business now. Oh my God. She's, she's running her own cake things. She's doing it. No more cleaning stuff. So That's all amazing. I did was, I just told her that you are talented. You have some capable in you. You could do better in your life. That I know cleaning is okay, but you are more than, more that. than that. Why right? you want to stop there? Exactly. But you know, you can use all your potential to create something. You made someone's life, you know. You're baking a cake for someone's birthday party, someone's anniversary. You do something, honey. And after one year, she shared in a post. She's like, if it's not her, yeah. I don't know what would I do. I will still be there. Be there. A one word from you. Imagine if I had my life four years ago, I wouldn't be a part of this girl's life. Exactly. So I don't believe in suicide. suicide I don't believe right. in committing suicide. I don't believe in end your life that could solve your problem. It never gonna solve your problem. If you have, a, it took a lot of courage, you know, to end your life. It's not an easy task. Exactly. And you know, baking reminded me of one of my friends. She's just 19. Yeah. And you know, she's a big, big, big introvert. And you know, she bakes amazingly. Like she knows how to bake brownies, cakes, everything. Yeah. And you know, when she came here, I was like, you know, you should honestly start this as a business. Exactly. And she was like, she's vegetarian. She was like, I don't know, people will prefer vegetarian cakes or not. And there are many bakeries here. So I don't know, like, you know, there's a lot of competition. I was like, no, when you have potential of doing something at such a young age, you should not just let it go. Exactly. True. That's why I told her now she's she's on her own path. Exactly. I feel I feel so blessed sometimes. Like when you ask me, right, how you overcome that 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 run. If today someone asked me, I'm like, no, don't commit suicide, don't end your life because you don't know what is waiting for you. Waiting for you, exactly. And you got no idea how much you're going to contribute in uh, someone's life. Someone's life. What else can be precious than this? When people ask me, you're 33, you're not married yet, you know. People even ask, like, do you have any problems? I'm like, yeah, probably I want to do a lot of good things. Good That's things, my problem, right, right, right. you know. So, yeah. And in your life. And you know, like side. since many days, I'm like just smiling, smiling, smiling. And like at my uni, people are asking me that like, how are you always happy? <laughs> and like, how are you able to make other people happy? You know, like all my friends and everyone, I believe like I create a very joyful environment. Yeah. And you know, I'm like the feeling when you are not actually happy all the time, because I'm also human. Yeah. I can be happy 24-7. Exactly. But that joy when you are not happy, but still you are being able to make others happy. Yeah. You know, that is something that if I can make them ha happy when I'm not happy, then what if I'm loving myself, treating me well, and then contributing in someone's life? It will automatically contribute in their life. You don't have to put any effort, trust me. Um, when I'm happy, I have so much positivity in yeah. me. Whatever has come to me, I get upset when, you know, I get stressed out. I never say, but it's common thing. It's Feelings, you know, yeah. if somebody come in like say, oh, you get angry. So you are a very bad person. bad person. I just one time like Previously, I was like, oh, okay, I think I'm a very angry person. I'm not a good person. I'm a bad person I hurt someone but after a while when I figure it out, I was like see it's a feelings If somebody gonna talk about what was happened four or five years ago when you were in teenagers they point that out to label you. I think you need a new circle exactly. around you. You're not going to be there anymore. Because if that thing going to pull you to where you are, you don't feel good, you should not You should just leave the place. It can be anywhere. I leave my hometown. I left it. I'm just like, now if they say you want to go back, I will say I don't want yeah. I don't want to go back to where I belong because I face a lot. And I'm happy. happy. Even though I'm alone here, my family wasn't here, my friends is not here, but I'm happy. And when they know that I'm happy, I'm happy. they are happy, happy there. That's all about. Yeah. So, 
this was like an amazing session and like everyone who is hearing this we don't know what is happening in your life maybe you are not in the right path or like you don't know what to do right now with your life but just if just close your eyes and imagine like are you happy with the life you are having right now and i think everything will get to its place do you agree mesh absolutely it's all about uh, one question yeah am i happy with myself exactly that's all, that's all. once you know the answer be bold enough because this is normal speak up if you think if i say this my partner would get me wrong my mother would get me wrong my father what else where else you can go and talk about this if your own people can't understand understand you. it and i don't think so everybody can understand it exactly for the way you got to understand yourself yourself that's and you it. know that's the biggest thing that's the toughest thing and once you are understanding yourself it's the easiest and it will be normal normal exactly normal. every day is a new day if today is a bad day tomorrow will be fine fine don't judge yourself that's all i can say don't judge be happy live in the moment that's all so guys that's all for today see you in the next session thank bye you. thanks divya means a lot thanks guys